guys, so I just wanted to do a little bit of a check-in, sort of a follow-up to my um, sort of plans for project planning in 2019 video. As I said in that video, I didn't really have concrete pa plans for this year. And it's only just coming up now that I've sort of formed, not necessarily concrete plans, but parameters of what I would like to achieve. Um, so first of all, whether or not am I on a no-buy this year, because you are going to be seeing some show-and-tell videos popping up. Um, am I on a no-buy? Am I on a low-buy? I'm on neither. Neither. I'm not setting myself a budget of what I can or can't spend. I'm not saying I'm not allowed to buy this product, this category of product or that category of product. But what I am sort of doing is just generally buying less. Like, if I don't if I really want something, I will buy it, but I'm not going to go, you know, go shopping, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not just going to be like, oh, I haven't been shopping in a while, I'm going to go shopping. Um, I have a lot of stuff here. Um, like, a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff that I've had for a very long time. Um, I'm still working on things I moved here with, um, particularly skincare, fragrance. Um, you guys have already seen my um, makeup declutter. If you haven't seen my most recent one, I will link the playlist in the info box for you. Um, but yeah, I'm not necessarily on like a strict specific no buy if I want to or have the means to go out and, and buy like a hundred pounds worth of stuff just for, as an example then there, I'm not going to stop myself if there, if it's stuff that I want, if it's disposable income that I can afford to spend. Um, the likelihood of that happening is very, very slim, but um, there's, there's no, there's no barrier stopping me if I should wish to. But that having said that, I am going to mostly try and focus on using up what I have. Um, like, I, I actually made a, a massive dent in my shampoo stash this past week. I managed to finish three bottles of shampoo during one hair washing. Not because I used that much shampoo, but because there was so much, there was so little shampoo left in each bottle. Um, I had to finish off three bottles of shampoo to wash my hair. <laughs> that was a good day. That was a good feeling. Um, so, I'm, you know, things like that. I'm just working through things steadily. If I get bored with something, I will put it to the side for a little bit and, and work on something else. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to... I don't know where I was going with that thought, but I'm... I don't quite know where I was going with that thought. I sat there for a moment just thinking, but I, I don't know. The, the thought is gone. Um, but I'm not going to deny myself cold cold turkey but at the same time I'm not going to force myself to pinpoint focus on particular products unless they're in projects which is something I'm going to come to. Um, I am going to be doing a couple of non-makeup product projects uh, throughout the year. I do, I'm doing, taking part in the A to Z project plan this year and I, it just occurred to me that you know I, I should take part in the part in the non-makeup A to Z project plan too because it looks like fun and there's a couple of other ideas that I have like I want to do like a um you know use up my my sample size perfumes um use up sample size skincare products I want to do my 30 and 30 challenges again because that was fun last year it was really really fun um, and I know you guys enjoyed them too so those are going to be happening as well um but I'm also going to be going really hardcore with the makeup project pans. I actually sat down and wrote all the ones that I like the idea of and I capped myself at 20. 20 makeup project pan things. Um, excuse the child artwork. Um, but I have 20 listed when they start and finish, the order that I need to do them in how many items are in each project. The only ones that I don't have items, an item number for are my Pan That palette because there are 48 eyeshadows in the palette that I'm currently using and my goal is only to really hit pan on them, not necessarily finish them. If I finish anything in there then 
awesome, awesome. But finishing the entire palette is not the goal for me. And the last one that I don't have a specific number for is um, why I'm calling my final countdown. And it's sort of a catch um, of products. So th at the end of the year when um, it, it would be running from the 1st of October to December 31st so any items that were in Project Pants throughout the year that I haven't finished I'm going to put in a basket and then I'm going to put into this final countdown Project Pan so that I can try and get them used up for the end of the year and having said that I added up all the numbers of products in these proposed Project Pans and I came to the total of 203 products 203 can I use up 203 makeup items throughout this year? Most likely not, because the bulk of my makeup is in an almost unused state, because since having children, since 20, 2016, even before that, um, when, I, when I found out I was pregnant in 2015, August, from there onward, I, I felt really lackluster about makeup, like I'd have, I'd, I'd, I'd cherish sleep over anything else. In fact, I wasn't even cherishing sleep. I just couldn't get up in the morning. Uh, so I just didn't have time for makeup. And then after having Luna, it, it still became a thing. I just didn't really have time for makeup and then moving. And so from about, about say, um, I would say October, 2015 till about October 2018 makeup was not was not my main focus and because of this I did end up throwing away a lot of makeup that had gone bad and that just left behind all of my newer makeup that hadn't really been used so that's why a lot of well for one reason that's why I've had to declutter a lot of stuff because for a three year period I was barely using any makeup. Um, so it basically went bad. <laughs> and that is why I'm left with mostly new lightly used makeup because it's the stuff that's still good, still usable. And I don't want to have to declutter any more makeup because it's gone bad. I would rather get rid of something because I don't like it rather than because it's gone bad, you know? Um, so that is the aim. Um, if I can if I can work on 203 makeup items, if I can make a, a, a um, what's the word I'm looking for? If I can make a visible, um, successful, celebratory dent in 203 makeup items, I would be ecstatic. If I could finish 203 makeup items, I would, I will faint. If I count on my end of year empties and there's 203 products, I will faint. <laughs> it's highly unlikely. I doubt it'll happen, but it just kind of, um, it's just kind of to put into perspective of it's all well and good. Um, that came out very well, well and good. <laughs> It's all well and good taking part in multiple project pans but also just be aware of the overall total number of products that you are putting into these project pans and just step back and be aware that unless every single item you're putting in has where's a good example like this this eyebrow pencil this has like a week two weeks worth into it so unless you have like 200 makeup items that have next to nothing in them, you're not gonna use up that much makeup in a year. Um, but you never know, I could prove myself wrong. I could prove myself wrong. It would be epic if I could, but I doubt it's gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know if I had any more I wanted to talk about right now. Um, I'm just super stoked. I'm super excited to just get on and, and do project pans and just get back into it and 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 use up my makeup and enjoy my makeup and throughout the I would I would say the whole of of February so far um today is the 19th of February um but for a good chunk of January as well I was I was making a conscious effort to try and wear makeup every day and if 
not wearing a full face of makeup, I at least use my lip products and some brow stuff. Um, just a little bit of something, just so I can get some usage in every day. Um, but yeah, um, I'm saying um a lot, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> let me know how your Project Pan journey is going so far this year, and um, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.